Hi guys, welcome back to the channel Spare Parts, and today I'll be reviewing set number 76167, the Iron Man Armory. The set came out in the year 2020, comes with 258 pieces and 5 minifigures. The set was made to go along with the Iron Man Hall of Armor, which came out I think in 2020 as well. This is a little bit different though, so let's take a closer look and unbox it. Taking a look at the box art, as you can see, it is the same box art as the Iron Man Hall of Armor, or very similar at least with that nice background. And you can see that there is some Lego kind of Avengers box art on here, which is different from the stuff we've had in the past. There's also a car and then the Hall of Armor in the background. Something interesting to notice is that they are using the newer Iron Man helmet piece, which I think looks really bad. In my opinion, the older one looks a lot better, and I think you can actually open up the older one. This one just looks a lot worse to me and a lot more funky. And if this is supposed to be a sequel to that original set, they use the old helmet design. You can see it right there, that's the old helmet design. I don't know why they used the new one. It's just kind of weird. I'll have to talk about this more later when I unbox it. On the back, we can just see a different view of the lab. You can see it also comes with Tony Stark in his non-Iron Man costume, which is really nice in the Iron Man Hall of Armor. I'll be referencing that set a lot in this review because this is basically just an add-on to that set. They did not include like a unique outfit for Tony Stark. You just had to take his helmet off and put his hairpiece on the headpiece underneath, and I like this much better than that. To be honest, for such a small set, I'm surprised LEGO included tape. They usually do thumb tabs, but I'm not complaining. All right, so here is a quick look at everything included in the set. As you can see, there are two different bags. There isn't any smaller bags. There's just two bags. And then there is the instruction manual, which got very bent in the box. Kind of wish LEGO would do that cardboard packaging they do for the bigger sets with every single instruction manual. It'd just be a lot better. And look at this sticker sheet. Like, Heart Attack Central here. Like, this is a $30 set, and there is 13 stickers in it. Yeah, 13. That's insane. And like, these are big too. This is crazy. I mean, I haven't built the set yet and it looks like it's a clear background. I just, oh my gosh, I am not looking forward to this, to be honest. I've been putting off building this set because I was scared of the sticker sheet. And yeah, this is terrifying. So here's what the completed set looks like. And I think it looks pretty good. That car build in the front, to be honest, looks pretty wimpy and we'll get into that later. That's the, one of the first things I noticed with this set. I really don't like the car build but it does come with five different minifigures, and I think that's really great for an only $30 set. Taking a look at the Hall of Armor section of the set, it does, of course, include the feature of being able to lay Iron Man suits out and display them from all the different compartments. There are four of them with this extra lab piece that we'll look at eventually, but two of them are actually blocked by these really nice stickers here and this like little cart that has a fire extinguisher and a wrench. You can remove that to make space for more suits, which is probably something I will be doing because I do have the Iron Man Hall of Armor set as well, and that comes with a bunch of different suits. On the end of the far left one, there is a little stick that you can attach Iron Man's like jet thruster things to. They just kind of slide on. It isn't a very secure connection, and I wouldn't really use this because it looks kind of weird, so I'm just going to take that off and put it on the minifigure. One of the best parts about this set, in my opinion, is this little prototype lab thing that the set includes. It has a microfig Iron Man and some really nice printed pieces. The set also does include an extra microfig Iron Man, so if you wanted two, you can have two. And I just think this is really cool, especially with all the printed pieces. That's probably one of the reasons I like it so much, is they actually made some custom printed pieces for this set. Most of the set is stickers, so it's nice to get this. Another side build included in this set, or I guess that lab wasn't really a side build, but this definitely is. This is a box with a sandwich on top of it and what appears to be a film strip, I think. I'm not like a super big Marvel fan, so I'm not sure if this is a reference to anything, but that sandwich is severely oversized. I don't really know why it's included in the set. I don't remember him eating a sandwich, but that's probably something that happens. And this box also does have some sticker labels that say Tony's Toys, probably a reference to the movies. And there is nothing in the box, which is kind of unfortunate. Although, when I was building this box, it was very difficult to get the lid on. And it's a lot easier there, but for some reason, this box did not want to have a lid put on it. My least favorite part about this set is this car. And oh my gosh, this car looks so bad in my opinion. Like, I don't think it looks accurate at all to what Tony's car looks like. Like, this just looks comical. Like, I could see this in, like, a city set or something, but this just, what is this? Like, I don't, there's stud shooters on this car. Like, why? I mean, I think it's supposed to represent fire, but I don't think his car spits flames. Like, this is just so far-fetched, and I'm, like, definitely not accurate. The windshield is also super funky. Like, why did they use this piece? I don't understand. And, like, there is some stickers on it for the fire and license plate that says Stark 5. That's probably pretty accurate. 
and like the motor or the engine in the front looks really bad in my opinion and just like it just it doesn't work i mean it does roll and you can put a minifigure in it like i'll put tony stark in it just to show and it does have steering wheel i kind of like the interior there's like some nice design in there i don't know there's like this weird triangle thing in the back i don't know if you can see it but there is some nice red in there but still i just i don't like the design of this thing like why are there stud shooters on it i have so many questions Taking a look at minifigures, first up we have Iron Man. Kind of strange about this set, this isn't like a Mark suit or anything, like usually Tony Stark labels his suits as Mark 1 or Mark 51. He has an excessive amount of suits, but in this set they labeled them just as Iron Man, which is very strange because the set this is like an expansion to, or I assume it's an expansion to. Not really sure if LEGO has labeled it as an expansion to the Iron Man Hall of Armor, but it is built the exact same way. In that set they included a totally different helmet piece and they actually labeled the set as a different mark, or the minifigures as a different mark. And that's very strange about this set, in my opinion, why they just made like a normal Iron Man minifigure. I mean, this is a cool minifigure, except for I don't like the helmet piece very much, but they should have labeled it as its certain, or like its mark. Because I don't know what mark this suit is, but I know it's in Endgame, and it's actually in the movie, so it should have a mark number, and I don't really know why LEGO didn't do that. And I don't know why they used this helmet piece, but... Other than that, I would say this minifigure is really good. All the printing and the stickers for his thrust in the back. He does come with like this Harry Potter element here. I've seen this in Harry Potter before, but I'm sure it was in Marvel first. And this is just like a launch thing for his like cannons. They don't work very well to be honest, but they do launch if you launch them correctly. Next up we have Prototype Iron Man. I have no idea what Prototype Iron Man is. I mean, it might be something from the movies, but I just, I don't understand why this is in this set. We had in the last version of the set, or the one this is based on, the Iron Man Hall of Armor, I keep mentioning that, we had this original Mark I suit, which is basically the exact same. I mean, LEGO did change the printing on this newer one, but they're like, they're very similar, like the exact same pieces. And I do praise LEGO for not just reusing the same print, I just, I really don't understand the choice of including this instead of including a unique Iron Man Mark suit, like there's so many cool ones to choose from. Just another confusing aspect of this set, but other than that, I would say this minifigure looks really good. Nice printing as well, and some more printing on the back. They are doing a really good job at printing these helmet pieces, to be honest. Even though I don't like them, it does look very nice. Next up, we have Tony Stark, and I'm really happy this minifigure was included in the set because in, you guessed it, the Iron Man Hall of Armor, they did not include a regular Tony Stark minifigure. They included his head and his hair, so you could take off his helmet and put his hair on to like pretend it's Tony Stark in the Iron Man suit. I did not like that. I would have much rather had him in his street clothes. And I feel like this set does a good job with that. He is very basic, but they did include a double-sided face for what he looks like inside of the helmet. And that looks really nice. But I just, I really like how the set just included a basic Tony Stark as well. Finally, we have two AIM agents and I think they look really good. I did not have any AIM agents before this. And I really do like the yellow arms on them and their blasters. I think they're pretty unique. They do have some nice silver helmets and some like silver breathing element pieces. Underneath the helmet, they have this really nice orange visor printing with some reflection printed on it. And it is the regular yellow Lego head that it's printed on. It looks a little orange in the camera light, but it does match their arms really nicely. So really good quality minifigures here. They don't have any leg printing, but they do have silver legs. So that's kind of nice. So taking a look at stickers and prints, this set has an excessive amount of stickers with there being 13 overall in this set, which is insane. And some of them are combined, so there's like multiple stickers for each number. And just looking at this, you can see there's two clear stickers here. All the stickers in the set are clear. So that means if you mess up once, your fingerprint is permanently on them, which is super annoying. But there's like a burger print, and I don't know what this is. And then on the back, there's a bunch of different stickers for the suits, which this is another difference between the 2020 version who used the older helmet design to sticker these. Just kind of interesting. I don't know why they did this. All of these side builds have an excessive amount of stickers except for this thing, which actually all has prints, which is really awesome. Both of these have stickers on these wing pieces, and this has stickers everywhere from the film piece to the box, and they're all clear, which is really unfortunate. And of course, this awful car has stickers everywhere as well. There's flame stickers here, flame stickers over there, and a Stark sticker on the license plate. I just feel like they should have printed this. It's a two by one for goodness sake. And you can see how terribly cut that sticker was. It just looks awful. And I really do think this car could have used some print. Maybe that would have made it a bit better. So overall, my rating for this set as a standalone non 
add-on to the Iron Man Hall of Armor is an 8 out of 10. I think it's a really good set with five minifigures, and they're actually really good minifigures in my opinion. You get that nice Tony Stark minifigure, and you do get some really nice prints. There just is way too many stickers, and that car is just atrocious. So 8 out of 10 set overall. But if you look at it as an add-on to the Iron Man Hall of Armor from 2020, I feel like this set is just a 6 out of 10, like maybe a 5 out of 10. And it's just because it's so different. Like, I do not understand why they renamed the Iron Man suits as like prototype Iron Man and just Iron Man. Like, I feel like if they were making it with the same design and build as the original set, I feel like they would have wanted to stick with the same names and even the same helmet piece. I do not understand why they used this new helmet design. Like, even for the silver one, I could understand that because with the old set, they used that for a silver one as well. But with the newer Iron Man suit, I really don't understand why they used a less appealing and ugly one. And that car is still bad. And there are a lot of stickers. And I just, I don't understand it. I do like how they included a Tony Stark in this one. I just, I really don't think it's a good add-on, to be honest. Like, it's just, I don't understand why they changed so many things about the minifigures. And, like, even the box art is different. Minor nitpick, but it's different. So yeah, overall, I feel like as a set, it is a 8 out of 10, but as an add-on and addition to the 2021, it's just a 6 out of 10. It's not very good, but overall, the set is a good set. So there you have it, guys. That was my review set number 76167, the Iron Man Armory. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.